Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to a grown man reacts to children's toy announcements. I am your host, Nev Campbell. Uh, that's right, I'm back from the 90s. Uh, so this is, uh, we're about a little bit less than 20 minutes until Nintendo drops the bombs on uh, on everyone. This is uh, the Nintendo Direct, it's like in 20 minutes. Um, for E3 2018, this year, I have, I've, I've figured it out. This year, whenever Nintendo talks about a game that I don't care about, rather than being annoyed, I've got something else we're gonna do. So every game that they start talking about, I'm like, oh, I don't care about this. We're not gonna get sad and disappointed. I've got, you'll see, you'll see, but I finally figured out a way to make E3 fantastic no matter what. So stay tuned. All right, we'll just jump forward to the beginning now. But anyways, you know what we're doing here. This is the full reaction. I'm gonna do the whole thing, um, but I am gonna break them up later as individual videos as well, uh, and then have a little discussion after them and stuff. But anyways, this is just my raw footage. I know how you guys like it raw. Anyways, here we go. That's the world. Those are Joy-Cons. They just flashed about $500 worth of Joy-Cons there. Look at this. Nintendo Direct E3 2018. How many times are they going to show the logo to us? Jesus, we get it. What is this? What is this? Robots. Mechs. Is this a new IP? Or is this something I, uh, this looks new to me. What is this? Oh, it's kind of a neat art style. Uh, it's a very strange game to open your conference up on. I wonder if Dan would like this. He likes this mech stuff, so he might be into this. Dan's a buddy of mine. Some of you might know him from the channel. What is this? Is this Titanfall cell shaded style? I don't know. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at. Diamon? Doraemon? What? Ah! What is this game? Is this a Nintendo thing? Is this third party? Is this a monolith soft thing? I don't know. Ding! Wow, this music, man. Good thing. I, and, and here I thought that Corn stopped making music. Good to see Corn is still gainfully employed. I can't. This is. I can't. I'm gonna actually have to take this out of my ear for a second. Diamond times Machinima. Okay. Don't, I don't know what that was. Sure. Coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay. I don't know what that was. What a way to start your conference. Is this very Japanesey so far? I'm feeling like we might have to we might have to do the thing already. Is this what is this? Tank beneath the clouds. Okay. Um I don't think I care about this. So okay, we're getting a little sad. That's okay though, we've got to back up. So uh <clears throat> So in the segments where they're showing a game I don't care about, I'm gonna introduce you to some of my favorite pairs of shoes. So this is a pair of Mason Martin Margiela's. They are, as you can see, a very sexy patent red color. I really like the design. I like the way the toe looks here. Very cool. Uh, but I got these somewhat recently. I've been kind of waiting to buy them for a while. Finally did. I like how high gloss they are. Uh, and I really like the shape of the shoe as well. There's just a good shape going on with the toe and the structure. Uh, worn these quite a bit. Also, they have a really cool, uh, what you would call tan or nude outer sole there going on. I like that a lot. It goes really cool with the uh, glossy red upper of the patent leather. And the laces are also kind of a nude tan color as well. They're not a white lace, which is very neat. Um, but I really like these. They're from Mason Martin Margiela, so they were pretty damn expensive. Um, but they're worth it, actually, because they're just so darn cool. Uh, so yeah, that is the, uh, I don't remember what the style is called. Like it doesn't, I don't know if it has a name or not, but uh, there's boobs, hey, but these are cooler than boobs, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. I like them a lot. I need to get a second pair and a third pair. So far, this is my only pair. Usually games that I like. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, isn't that already out? 
I don't know. Anyway, so those are the uh, those are the Mason Martin Margellas, the red patent leather Margellas. I like them a lot. Okay, I don't know what that was. All right, back to games. Reggie's voice is out of sync with what he's saying. Whether playing at home or on the go. Why do you say this kind of, well, I don't understand why they say these kind of things at E3. We don't really know. Like why? Like why do we care to hear this? Viridian cities. Oh, he's, he's almost making it feel like the Switch isn't just a toy, which is what it is. What is he doing? What? Oh, what was on the screen there? Oh, that's Pokemon. Okay. This conference kind of is lame so far. My favorite thing about this press conference so far was talking about my shoes. I'm not even joking. This isn't even new footage. We had two Japanese games and now a game that we already know about. How long is this, I wonder? Excuse me. I can get away with burping because I'm cute. This is a thing we already showed you. You can use it like a Joy-Con controller with Pokemon yeah. and Skill Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Or play the entire game with it alone. You can put a Pokemon into the Pokeball Plus, then bring it with you. <sighs> that thing looks small. Either Reggie is just gigantic. Oh, okay. Here we Finally, some new footage. This looks cool. I like this game a lot. I love the just bright use of colors. Looks great. Did we know the release date? I feel like we did, question mark. I mean, I think we all assumed, even if we didn't, we knew that it would be like November-y. november -y. All right, Pokemon, we got it. Really surprised they didn't start this with Smash Brothers. That was very strange. It's off to a weak start so far. Okay. Is this a Pokemon thing or is this like a totally new thing? What? Wait, was that, was that a woman? Oh, that is a woman. The only way I know is from the eyelashes. All or nothing. What? Wait a minute! And they're individual? And it looks... Super Mario Party! What the... Oh my god! This is cool! Well, fuck the people! Show the goddamn game! Wait, what? Okay, that's cute, but fuck the gimmick. Just show me the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck that. Show me the game. Oh, I'm going to have to buy two Nintendo Switch systems? I'm not doing that. Forget about the gimmick. Show me the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is it? Man, they're... Really? Fuck this. I don't care. I'm not going to have two Switch systems. It's not going to happen. This Mario Party trailer has about 100% more people than I would have ever wanted to see. What is it, a baseball game? That's cute. But I'm, nobody's going to get together and play. There, yes, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Do they actually know? That looks beautiful. And then, uh, Josh, what are you talking about? That was like an original board? Is Mario Party back? Holy shit, they did it. The Switch is like, oh, look at that little sidestepper crab. Actually, it wasn't little. It was big. This is cute. Yes. Oh, man, did they? And the Mario... Boys and girls, Mario Party might be back. Look at the Goomba! Oh my god. <laughs> this is great. Wow. I've never said the word before in my life. Terrific! Super Mario. Oh, October. That was... Oh! Nice! Didn't need to show you shoes for that one, but this one maybe. They're saving Smash for last, I feel like. Actually, I feel like they're going to show Metroid last, like a little CGI teaser. Is this, um... Fire Emblem? I feel like this might be Fire Emblem. I only brought three pairs of shoes with me. So I don't know if I should use it up already, but this doesn't look... This looks like it's going to be long and anime-y. Yes, okay, so... Uh, this, uh... <laughs> this is a pair of Lanvin sneakers. L-A-N-V-I-N. -I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think that's Lanvin. But look how amazing these bad boys are. They are a high top, as you can see. And they have a shiny metallic, I don't even know, like iridescent oily effect to them. 
where you just get all these great colors and patterns as the sun hits them. Uh, but they are a huge favorite of mine. Again, this is another pair I only have one pair of. Uh, so I really need to up my game and find another pair of these. Again, though, just like the Margellas, Lanvin is a designer brand. And so these sneakers was not cheap. Uh, but they're incredibly comfortable. Like on the inside, it's like really cushiony and thick. So uh, they're really awesome. But again, uh, I only have one pair. So I'm a little bit hesitant to wear these on like a rainy day. Like I wouldn't wear them on a rainy day or something like that. Uh, but sunny days, rocking these bad boys. Love them quite a bit. Um, and they seem to be really, really well made to where it doesn't seem like they would take damage all that much. Um, but I'm a really big, big fan of these things. Very unique. Um, it's funny, I've known about these for a while, like uh, years. And the thing about designer shoes is if you don't buy them when they're first released for that season, I think these were like spring of a few years ago, they become really hard to find, uh, which is disappointing. So it did take me a while. Can't remember how much I spent on these, but this, we won't go into how much I pay for these shoes. It's a, it's a little ridiculous. I'm complaining about how expensive Joy-Cons are, yet these were like uh, hundreds of dollars. So I'm gonna say, uh, but yeah. The Landvin high top in iridescent shininess. Pretty amazing. I love them quite a bit. All right. I only got one more pair of shoes with me here. So I hope, is this Fortnite? How did I know that? Oh, was that a shot? That was a shiny ass. Show the shiny butt again. So yeah, Fortnite is coming to the Switch. Um, I played it a little bit on uh, PC and I thought it was pretty, why are so many girls looking like dudes these days? I don't really know what that's about. I don't care if that's not politically correct to say I'm saying it. There's, there's a lot of girls in these trailers that look like they're dudes. Um, yeah, this game is pretty cute. I, from what I played, it seemed like I could get into it. I will play it on the Switch. Oh, maybe they'll show it now. I will buy this and play it on the Switch if I can use motion control. If not, I am totally just going to play it on PC whenever I want. Um, but yeah, I really hate when a shooter will come to the Switch and they don't like put... Like Doom launched without it and stuff. Hey, it's today. So that's, we knew that. That's everything people had assumed. But that's cool. Fortnite on Switch. I can't wait to see Reggie dropping off the battle bus. You can have the, complete battle royale. the stream is not running that smoothly. I want to point that out. So I apologize if you're like, why is this Reggie's mouth moving but his lips aren't matched? It's the way it is for me. So yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna try that today. And if it has motion control, I'll keep it installed. And if it doesn't, that's going bye-bye. Because keyboard and mouse would be way better to aim than dual analog stick. That's stupid. Oh, please don't do an indie game. I, like I said, I only have one more pair of shoes with me. I might have to run out of the room and go get another pair of shoes. I was hoping three would be too many. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, no, this is great. Yeah, Overcooked was a great game for the Switch. Oh, this looks cute. Oh, oh, man, zombie bread. A oh, Halloween area. We just got another game added to the Halloween week this year. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. Please come out before Halloween, though. Don't be dumb. Oh, neat. Okay. Is this exclusive? Man, if this is exclusive, that's great. It didn't run great on the Switch, the first game. Oh, effing beautiful. <laughs> Love it. I don't know what this is. I, I'm not going to grab a pair of shoes for this. This isn't so bad that I need to talk about shoes to cheer myself up, but... It's a pixelated indie game. <laughs> Again, I can do that because I'm cute. Um... Is this a popular game? I don't know. I mean, it could be cute. I don't know. I don't care, I guess is the biggest thing. Killer Queen Black. There we go. Hollow Knight. Why do I know that name? I've heard the name Hollow Knight, but I have not seen this. Doodly doot dow. Um, I was talking about something earlier. Now I've totally lost track of what I was saying. So I guess we'll just forget that thought. Um... Yeah, I'm a little worried they're going to save Smash Brothers for last, and that's going to be their big ending. And I feel like that shouldn't be the big ending, because we know about that game, and it's probably going to look exactly what we think it's going to look like. It's not going to be like some, oh my god, amazing thing. But I am still hold I'm still saying they're going to end it with a tease of Metroid Prime. Don't talk about after. 
What are you almost done already, Reggie? Stop. Don't don't tell me about when it's over. We waited a year for this. You're only 14 minutes in. <clears throat> That's such a weird thing, Splatoon 2 being, like, on a tournament stage now. Like, that game's a year old. I own it. I don't want to watch other people play it. Maybe you do. That's fine. That's great. For me, I'm just like, what? What? Oh. I'm tempted to get the pair of shoes, but it doesn't seem like this is a big, long trailer. I don't care about this game. It looks cute. The like level design looks great. I like the style, but uh, it's just not for me. But I'm sure it's really cool. But just not for me. Okay, here we go. Mario Party is like exciting. That was great. Uh, 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 uh. Starlink. I don't care about that game. Buy pieces of plastic to play a game. Well, if it was the year 2008, I might do that. Minecraft, isn't that already out? I thought Minecraft was already on the Switch. Maybe that was the Wii U. I don't know. I keep getting these consoles confused. Hey, that game is not worth $50. <clears throat> Rabbids, that's cute. I'm definitely going to get that DLC. Looks really neat. Snail games. Hey, look, somebody's played Minecraft. It's just dance. Again. All right. Dragon Ball Z. That's cute. I'm getting this. I like the way... They seem to be challenges and missions instead of like these like uh, obstacle course levels. Captain Toad <gasps> already played and beat it. And look, they don't even have like new footage. The Captain Toad looks stupid on the Switch. I'm sorry. What is this? What? Is that Splatoon? What is that? Uh, Captain Toad looks stupid on the Switch because it just looks like the laziest port imaginable. They, they said there's like more stages added from Odyssey, but they keep only showing New Donk City which makes me believe they don't have many new stages. Paladins, that's already out, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's available now. Dark Souls Remastered. What the hell? Okay, <laughs> they showed like a second of that game. Monster Hunter, Wolfenstein 2. The new Colossus, the world ends with you. I Mega Man 11, that looks cool. I'm going to get that. Mario Tennis Aces, obviously I want that. We've already played the demo and it's great. A lot of people were saying it was kind of difficult. I would agree, but I liked that about it. I liked having to learn how to get good. Here we are. We just, wow, that was whiplash. Now we're in Kyoto, Japan. Oh. <laughs>